Hey guys, I'm Dave with Growing the Home Garden. A couple of weeks ago, our plants that I've got right here, some pepper plants and an avocado tree, were completely infested with fungal bats. I mean, it was so annoying. They were everywhere, they were in the house, they were going in all the rooms, the kitchen, the bedrooms, that you'd every now and then you'd see one kind of just float in front of your eye and you'd start swatting at it. It was nuts. Uh, it was just too much. And we've in the past used just vinegar cups with a little bit of uh, saran wrap on top of it with some holes poked in it. And that's worked pretty good, but there were so many here and this was just not doing enough. So I went and I ordered some sticky traps. There is a yellow sticky trap kind of thing. And you can find them in lots of different places. Some of these have got a few little hummingbird type looks to them. They've got these little stakes that they come with. Some are mushrooms. There's another mushroom. Some are little butterflies. And this particular kit, it came with some little plastic sticks as well as the bamboo ones I just showed you. And these little curly Q things that I haven't quite figured out how to use just yet. Maybe you hang them or something. I don't know. I'm not using those right now. But I wanted to share with you how effective these actually are. And I was really kind of impressed with this. I mean, it was pretty cheap. It was about 6 or $7, I think, somewhere in that ballpark for about 100 of these and more than enough. So I started sticking them in a lot of my different pots. And I'll show you what I've got right here. They did a really good job of catching fungal mats. See that right there on both sides. And with these little bamboo pieces, they just stick right to the very bottom of the sticky trap and then you stick it right in your pot, just like that. And fungal gnats happen a lot of the time when you've got just a whole lot of moisture in your pot and you brought them in from outdoors, or maybe you've purchased plants at a garden center somewhere and they're already in the soil and you bring them home, and then they spread. They're not extremely dangerous to your plants in any way. They go after uh, a lot of the moisture that's inside the pot. So if you've got overly wet pots, they will like to propagate. So a couple things you can do to kind of minimize them, and they're just very annoying. They go in these little clouds everywhere. It's crazy. But the things you can do is, number one, don't water too much. Water just enough. Keep it a little bit on the dry side. Excuse me. Anyway, you keep it on the dry side. And as you're keeping it on that dry side, they won't be able to create as many larvae. Uh, the other thing you can do is to get something like the vinegar pots or get something like these yellow sticky traps to try to get rid of them. You can also spray the soil. I did a little bit of soil spray here with this three-in-one fungicide stuff and it did help some, uh, but it just wasn't doing enough. And you can see I really caught quite a few on these sticky traps. Since putting those sticky traps in, I've seen a dramatic drop. They're still around every now and then. You see one that you just have to smash but this has done an excellent job of taking care of them. And it's a, just a cheap, easy solution. So I'm Dave with Growing the Home Garden. Hope this was helpful. If it was, hit the like button and subscribe, and we'll catch you next time.